Hi, I'm Jake with the Google Ventures Design Studio. Today I'm going to tell you about one of our projects. There are four of us at the Design Studio. That's me. Our job is to help the startups in the Google Ventures portfolio with product design. One of the ways we do that is a product design sprint. Here's the idea. Startups face a lot of important design challenges, from defining their product for the first time to improving conversion rates. But startups are small, and the opportunities are big. So in a product design sprint, we grab our design chainmail and we get in there together. Here's an example. Custom-made is one of our portfolio companies. They connect people who want a custom-made product with the craftsmen who can actually make it. For example, I wanted this custom monitor stand. And custom-made connected me with this guy, Tim Sway. Now, Tim is awesome. He helped me draw plans, he found the right wood, he built it, and he shipped it to me. Check that out. That is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so back to our story. So Custom Made was thinking about a big new feature. A lot of users got stuck when they had to describe their project. Take me for example. I had to decide what kind of wood I wanted. Now Tim knows everything about wood, but in my brain it's more like this. So it was hard to fill out that form. Custom Made had an idea to make this less daunting. What if users could collect photos to help describe their project? They called this concept the idea book. We decided to do a sprint together to design it, so Custom Made flew out from Boston. We've got five days together. First, we want to understand as much as possible about the problem. Mike, the CEO, explains how the business works. We decide which metrics we should use to measure success. We review user research on the current product, what works, what doesn't work so well, and we check out products that solve similar problems. We write up a ton of notes, we diagram a user story, and we focus in on the part that's most important for the idea book. Next, we're going to come up with as many solutions as possible. We do this on paper so we can move really fast. Everybody gets in on this. The designers are doing stuff, the PM, the CEO, everybody's drawing things. We come up with dozens of designs. This is a super intense day. And we're tired at the end, so we take a break. Then, after our break is over, we take another break. But then, after that break is over, we get back to business. It's time to decide which of those ideas are worth prototyping. So we start by voting with these sticker dots. And we put stickers all over the pages, and we're making this kind of a heat map of the best ideas. The best stuff starts to emerge. Because we've done all this on paper, we've been able to move super fast up to this point and keep everyone involved. Now we still have time to take those top ideas and make some wireframes. So we're adding more detail to the sketches. We're trying variations. Now we're ready to build a prototype. We need something that we can show to users, and we need it fast because we've posted an ad on Craigslist to recruit people for the studies. These people are going to come in and show up on the last day of our sprint, so we have to have something fast. We use Keynote to build a prototype. It takes about a day. It's simple, but it's going to be good enough to find out if we're on track. So the next day, six people will try our prototype, and we'll find out how we did. Our user research partner, Michael, watches as the users try out the prototype. This is what the prototype looks like in action. Users can click around, they can add photos to the idea book. Again, this is just a keynote deck, but it feels real enough to show users. Michael asks some questions to find out what they think. Anything can happen in a user study, but this time we're lucky. The design seems to make sense. We're on the right track. Users understand the new design much better than the existing site. But Michael has also found a bunch of potential improvements. So in five days, we've designed and tested the idea book. Next, we decide to do another quick sprint to make it better. So stay tuned for the next episode, where we'll use two new techniques to test our ideas. Thanks for watching.